I'm from Kexeswara. It's like 50 kilometers from north of, of uh, Jokkmokk, close to the Finnish border. I have been going to art school in Stockholm at Konstfak. I'm uh, from a reindeer herding family. And so my art, it's uh, quite much of my family history and what the Swedish government had been doing and uh, the people in the community. And that uh, in 1986, the government forced my family away, forbidden our reindeer marks and uh, they built a fence that was 30 kilometers long. Um, when they moved our reindeers, so they will never come back to the original places. And they did it with uh, police uh, patrols came. And we have like, my family had like three to four hundred police notifications on us. We have been doing a kind of guerrilla reindeer herding since 1972. That's the way we are going ahead to. It's not going to get, get in a brighter or... And um, I think it can be even worse. The only solution we have is to stand up and fight. And that's have been a trouble for many, many, many years behind that. So many people have troubles to fight. And I think it's like a colonial thinking. I think the government have put like a stamp on us that these people they have never fight. And if you keep saying that all the time and write in the history books and stuff like that, then all the people will believe that, oh, we, we cannot do this because it's not in our culture to fight. It's all, also like a seeing how the future is going to be. Because if you trap uh, a little group of people and to a corner and just pushing them, terrible things can happen if you're pushing like that. It's a picture of uh, Elsa Laula Rainberry. She uh, arranged the first Sami meeting. She's the first Sami activist, you think? Uh, maybe not. It depends. Maybe not everything was have been right in the history books what the Sami people have been doing. Uh, maybe because they, it's is the um, winner who writes their history books. It's not the loser. So they, I think they will pick like this we will tell about, tell about and this will not tell. Um, because maybe stuff like that can um, help the Sami people to rise if they have heard about stories that they have, what they have done and uh, to fight against the the government and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know, don't really know if she's the first, but she's one of them, one of them. The last time you were saying that you were kind of the first contemporary Sami artist in Sweden? Uh, if, if you like political, really political way, so yeah. Um, that have been really like, um, you cannot show pictures like that, you cannot 
Because one time I also painted a Sami flag with um, Sami man with traditional clothes on, uh, and then he had like a skull to a face, and then he had a Kalashnikov in his hand, and people get very really really angry about that picture, especially uh, the older ones. And they had said that I had like um, um, like when you're like burning another country's flag, uh, the government had said that my art is untasteful and stuff like that. Oh yeah. In natural TV, so but I think it was really good to hear about that. <laughs> so I I liked I liked it. Also about my family background that we had never like, we have always stand up and fight for rights and stuff like that. I had never like, oh no, we cannot do this. And uh, of course we have been taking shit of it, both from uh, Sweden and also from the Sami people have been like, oh, this is, this family is like crazy and they're like uh, troublemakers and they're like, but the only thing that we are like fighting for the rights so they do not go away. And then um, you, you have always to do that. It's like a holy animal. You get the clothes from it, you get like everything from it, the food, the... Uh, yeah, so it's really important animal. Certain places that you are every year, like uh, the normal reindeer herding, they ha yes, have like... Or... Yeah, we have no village like that. Okay. And we have no... If the predators take our uh, reindeers, we get nothing from it. Mm, and uh, No, no. And if it's a really bad year with food or like that we get nothing so we are like living in the in the more like in the 1600 we have uh, no help from no one mm. and we are like really a small group What would be the difference between a Sami and a Swede, for example? Uh, they don't have to explain everything or to defend themselves. They are Swedes or like that. And they don't, they don't all the time have to explain their history and they don't have to explain um, the culture all the time. You have one uh, planet to live on, and you have no nowhere else to go if you ruin it. So you have to take care of it. You have to change people's minds and um, do it in a non-violent. Um, and we have to do it quite quick because um, it's going downhill all the time and it can uh, yeah people can do stupid things <laughs> 